Right. So a no poach, it's an agreement between um, two usually co competing corporations that they will not hire each other's employees. That's illegal because it, it usually will fix wages as well as a byproduct of that agreement and it restricts mobility and usually it's unbeknownst to the employee, they don't know about it. And um, you know, if they go to apply for a job at another company and they're refused, um, they're, they're stuck. And they're stuck with the same wages and you know, they don't have any negotiating power. And in our case, in franchise cases with fast food workers, it's even worse because they, they're exposed to really bad working conditions and, and not treated very nicely by their management. And they have nowhere to go because of these no poach agreements. And they can't, they can't progress within the company and they can't if they leave the job. An example is we're suing McDonald's. So, um, my client was working her way up the ladder um, for a general manager and devoted seven years of hard work and dedicated work. She loved her job. She was very passionate about it. And they took advantage of that and was, they gave her general management duties without the pay. And, but they kept promising and promising. Well, you know, she got tired of the empty promises and went down the street to the next McDonald's and they thought she was great and said, we'll hire you, we'll give you a dollar more an hour and then in three months um, you'll be up for another raise. And, but you have to get released from your current employer. So she said, okay, and when she asked them, they said, no, we're not gonna release you and by the way, your register was short. So not only did they not release her, they used it to 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 uh, do undue pressure and, and and scare her into staying and, and threatening that she was a, a thief and they were going to report her, so she ended up having to stay. And they said, "Don't worry, um, we won't tell anybody about the stolen money. If you just keep working here, and we're going to raise you. Don't worry." Well, she stayed a whole nother year, and the same thing happened. So she left. She wanted to go to another McDonald's, but she knew she couldn't. So she ended up um, really just giving up on the fast food industry altogether and went to Hobby Lobby and got a job at 8.25 an hour, which was a huge pay cut for her.